What's up everybody, Joey Dania here in beautiful Alabama. And uh, I just got back from the Bassmaster Open on the Kissimmee chain a couple days ago. And it is definitely a little chillier up here. I got my warm six inch jacket on and a beanie on, but uh, it's nice to be home, it really is. And the lows here are in the 20s right now with the highs getting up into the 60s or high 50s to low 60s. So it's perfect weather, but it's not quite as warm as it was down in Florida when I was wearing shorts and getting sunburned and having to put sunscreen on. and wear my face shield. So it was really nice to be in Florida, but the tournament, as far as the first Bassmaster Open goes on the Kissimmee chain, it was brutal. I mean, I had a really tough week of practice and uh, it was the hardest thing. And anybody that was down there knows that the weather was changing in practice. And so anytime you have massive changing conditions, it makes it hard to practice and you really have to plan ahead. You have to plan for the future. And I tried to do that. Um, I felt like maximizing my time and staying in Lake Toho would be a good thing. And I had some offshore areas that uh, we had found, me and my buddy Wesley had found, and it was just, you know, it looked like it was gonna be the right kind of deal and set up perfect, but it didn't play out. On the first morning of the tournament, we got out there and uh, into the middle of Lake Toho and started fishing these really nice, deep, isolated clumps that were way outside of any main hard line and just had had fish on them the weekend before, but the weather, you know, the highs were in the 40s the weekend before and the lows were down into the, you know, low 30s and it was frosty on the boat every, uh, you know, every morning for a couple of days there. And that's the hardest thing is trying to prepare for the future and knowing that warming trend was going to come because it got up into the 80s on the first, you know, on day one of the tournament and day two of the tournament. So I got out there on day one in the morning and it was not happening. I caught one keeper on like my third cast and then I never got another bite for close to two hours. And it was the kind of deal where if you were offshore on Lake Toho or any of those lakes, it was a one cast deal where you had to hit him in the face. It was one specific spot and it happened fast when guys got on it. So, and that's how what it seemed like to me. It seemed like it was like, you got on them, you busted them, and then they moved. They were just swimming through, and it was like they weren't sitting in one place consistently. And that's why you saw a lot of high weights on the first day of the tournament where guys got onto that right group of fish, and then they dropped off because those fish didn't ever show up again. So, for me, I abandoned that quickly. I went and punched back up around the ramp, punching hyacinth mats. I, I was hoping that would be a good deal with how cold it had been. But I only got one bite and two hours of punching, and I'm like, man, what in the world? This is my first tournament of the year first Bassmaster Open of the season, and I'm gonna struggle <clears throat> on day number one. So it was a little bit frustrating, and I try to not get frustrated on the water. As you guys know, you know, I try to just have a mindset all the time that it's God's plan, not my own plan, and that I just need to stay calm and keep fishing and keep having fun and try to make that day a success based on how much fun I have and how much I enjoy myself, because I get to fish for a living, and I should have nothing to complain about. Whether I go out there and I struggle, on day one of a nine tournament Bassmaster Open Series uh, season since I'm fishing all nine this year. And I just, yeah, I was, you know, I kind of almost got in that funk and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna calm down and I'm gonna fish. And it was about one o'clock and I said, you know what? I'm going shallow. So I went to some shallow flat lily pads and I started swimming the turbo fatties around on a 3 16th ounce, six cents pitch black weight with their stout extra wide gap hook, five bot right there. And I started swimming that worm and almost immediately I started getting bit. And it was cool because I was up in these super thick pads and I would push the boat way up in there and I was cutting through them with my Motor Guide Tour Pro. And I mean, I had to have the troll motor on 10 to get through that stuff. And I would push through it, I would sit and I would fan cast and I would just fan all around. And I knew in somewhere in that field with that water temperature rising into the mid sixties on day one, that there was gonna be a bass in there. And they, when you finally hit it around one, they would come waking through and inhale this bait and it was a blast. And so I caught my limit. I caught a nice two pounder. I was like, hey, two pounder, that's you know one of my biggest fish I caught in all of practice, which is pitiful, but it's just a fact. And so I said, you know what, day two, I'm gonna start offshore again, see if I can get a big bite and then I'm gonna go back and just hammer down. So that's what I did. I, you know, I stayed calm. I understood that, hey, I'm just gonna have fun out here. And I went and I caught 30 fish on the next day and I got to catch them all on a seven, six, you know, extra heavy, TFO Tactical Elite Rod, just burning this worm through the pads and seeing them wake at it and catching 30 bass up shallow in you know early February, there's nothing better than that. I'm using 60 pound uh, vicious no fade braid and just absolutely reefing on them. I mean, they'd come waking through, I'd either pause it or keep winding it and they would just hammer the bait and they were really aggressive, but I caught almost 11 pounds on day two. I moved from 109th place up to 69th place. And it was cool because you know, I could have collapsed in that tournament. And several years ago, I probably would have just crumbled under the pressure. You know, no one's like, man, I got nine tournaments. I'm trying to, I'd like to make the elites um, if possible. And it was like, man, you know what? I'm gonna go out here and struggle in my first tournament. And I, I kind of turned it around. I saved a lot of points and 69th place isn't great, but 69th out of 225 really good anglers is a decent week. And I uh, didn't get a paycheck, 
but I had a blast and I got to fish down in Florida and be warm. Now I'm back here in Bama and my next tournament is the Bassmaster Classic. So I, I could not be more excited about that. That's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna have a ton of my family there, tons of friends there, just so much love and support. And I just wanna glorify God in everything I do. So that's the plan at the Bassmaster Classic as well. Have as much fun as possible and glorify God and let the light that's inside of me shine out to the world. That's just, that's my passion and that's my mission. So I appreciate you guys following along and I love all of you. And I pray that you have a great day and a safe day. And when I say I pray, I really do. I pray all the time. I've got a guide on the water every day, and that's the Holy Spirit that's in me. And uh, I, you know, I just I stay calm and I just keep on fishing. And that's really helped me the last couple of years is uh, is having that. So it's the it's the biggest key to life. See you guys.